everybody, this is Tina with Loving Life's Little Blessings, and I am going to try to post for you guys every day this week just because there's so much going on. So today is Tuesday, and it is the very last day of our online um, huge sale with Stampin' Up. You will want to make sure that you head right over to my website by clicking right up here. It'll take you to my coordinating blog post and you guys are going to see all the information for that. Today is also the very last day to join Stampin' Up for the amazing price of $74.25. You get $125 in product and that ships to you for free. It's amazing. So let's go ahead and get started with this card you guys. I have something really fun um, for you guys today. So I have this stamp set and it is not a Stampin' Up! stamp set. This is a close to my heart stamp set. I work very closely with Megan Elizabeth from Above Ruby Studios with close to my heart items. I get a few here and there and I just had to have the snowman set. I really have been wanting to do snowman stuff and I thought it would be really fun to do some coloring today. So what I have is I have both of these stamped uh, snowman stamp on this block. This is a piece of watercolor paper. This is cut at three by four. Okay, so then I have another layer of black cardstock that is cut three and a quarter by four and a quarter. And then I have this, which has been embossed uh, with a snowflake embossing folder from Provo Craft. It's a really old one. And this is at four by five and a quarter, okay? So later on, we're gonna put together a card, but let's jump in and do some water coloring and some really fun stuff. So I'm starting by using a stays on ink pad. I'm really inking that up because this watercolor paper is pretty thick. And so it's not, it's a little bit harder to stamp on, you don't get as smooth of an image. So I have a lot of ink on there and then I'm adding a lot of pressure. And you can see that it didn't come out as gritty as I would want it to. So we're just gonna flip that over and stamp again. So let's zoom in and I'm going to do some coloring for you guys. I'm going to be doing water coloring. So I'm going to be using an aqua painter. Okay. I have a paper towel right here that's going to be off to the side. And then I'm using these three colors. I'm using cherry cobbler, night of navy, smoky slate, and old olive. I'm just pinching my stamp pad together and that's going to give me ink up top. I'll open all of these up. I will set them in front of me and we will start coloring. So I have done my water coloring. I got a little bit carried away up here with the gray. Um, I did a little bit of smoky sleigh up for some sh shading and I got a little too much. I got more than I wanted, but that's okay. It's going to be covered up in a little bit anyways. But then next I have my sentiment that says love never melts. And I want to test this out first. 
looks good. Okay, so I'm using Cherry Cobbler. And we're gonna stamp that right above. Came out really good. So we're all done with our ink now. Oh no, we're not. One last thing. So I have my Cherry Cobbler ink pad. And I have this tiny heart that I punched out from this. But this is a um, real red piece of paper. So what I'm gonna do is just lay it down in my ink and I'm going to um, pick up some ink on that. We'll lift that up. And then I'm going to take my watercolor brush and I'm just gonna move that ink around and that's just gonna make that darker. And then we'll set that side to dry. It's a very vanilla cardstock, which is a lot um, lighter than Whisper White. So the watercolor paper that I used is not as bright as the Whisper White, so I wanted to use a very vanilla piece. So I just cut that at five and a half by four and a quarter, and then folded it in half. And then our snowflake embossed piece is gonna go right on top. But right here, what I wanna do is add this piece to the black piece. And I'm going to do that with dimensionals. So this piece is attached. And now I want to take some cherry cobbler twine. And we're just going to wrap that around in a very classic way. So we have our bow done. So the next thing we're going to do is put this layer down on our embossed piece. And for that, we're gonna use the ATG tape because it's a more aggressive adhesive and I'm just gonna to wanna to make sure that this sticks to that piece. And then our red piece can go right onto our vanilla piece. And again, I'll use ATG adhesive for that. Almost done, but not quite. We have a lot of um, extra things to do to this card to really make it pop. It's gonna go right in there between those two snowmen. And then the next thing we're going to do is we're going to add some stardust stickles to the snowmen. few more things that we're going to do. I have this great pack of sequins and this was from my Project Life um, kit, the Hello December kit. Came with this beautiful sequence, so I'm going to add that. You can see that sparkle now. And then I'm also going to add some glossy accents.
how much do you love this card? I love the way it turned out. All that glitter and sequins and sparkles. I love it. Oh, one more thing. Let's do one more thing. Red Christmas stickles over the red heart. Beautiful. I love it. All right, guys, that's my card for today. Make sure you head over to my website. You can see photos of this beautiful card, and then you can check out any of our Stampin' Up! deals that are happening. I'll be back again tomorrow with a project for you guys, and I hope you guys are having a wonderful week. Thanks for stopping by.